So my understanding is you've donated uh, at least 100 grand a year uh, to the Democrats. Um, what is going on right now in those circles? I actually don't uh, think it's a very high concern of Biden, nor should it be that, you know, if he remains the nominee, donors like me, and I'm relatively small in the grand scheme of things, but, you know, we're just all, you know, he's going to run out of money because we close our checkbooks. Uh, so I want to be very clear that, yes, there is a revolt among donors, but that is not uh, because, you know, we're clutching our pearls or panicking or anything like that. We are just very, very unemotionally looking at what the American people are saying, what the polls are saying. And I just heard this morning, they're even worse. The internal private polls within the Democratic Party are, quote, disastrous. And that's from one of the top Democrats in the country who's a close friend of mine. So um, I think Biden's odds of winning, if he sticks in uh, in the race, I think are down to maybe 15 percent. Not impossible, but it would take a miracle. And I think if Democrats, there's an opportunity here to switch and Democrats can materially increase their chances of winning and also having a, a much better president who's physically and mentally able to do the job for the next four and a half years. It seems like very important people around him, Nancy Pelosi, um, formerly then Barack Obama, uh, and others, even Chuck Schumer, um, it sounds like they are gently making the case. What are you hearing? I think if you held a secret ballot today among all Democrats in the Senate and the House, 80 percent, not 100 percent, but 80 percent would want uh, Joe Biden to step aside as the nominee. Uh, and that's with with love and respect. And we all believe he's been an incredible president, an incredible public servant for 52 years. So nobody, not even his supporters, think he can last another four and a half years as president. And uh, and most importantly, uh, we we want to beat Donald Trump and save save the country uh, from what we view every single one of us views as an existential threat and a four year national nightmare.